I'm Paul Nyrink, and uh, my company is Nyrink. We make uh, software plugins for Pro Tools and this iPad app uh, that I'm going to show you right now. It, this iPad app is called vControl Pro. It's a control surface app for the iPad. And because the iPad, iPad uses Wi-Fi, it's completely portable. So you can uh, walk with it around your, uh, your recording studio. And uh, it's great for recording applications, for example. You take it to the drum booth or a vocal booth, Foley stage, use it to uh, record in Pro Tools. And it's also really good for mixing. Uh, people uh, take it to the sofa, they can take it home, they can give it to the client. Uh, so it's totally portable, uh, but it's a very full featured control surface for Pro Tools. Uh, it's got, uh, because it's multi touch, you can control multiple faders at the same time. So uh, it's better than mousing. With a mouse, you can only control one fader at a time. Uh, so it's got. Uh, uh, banking and scrolling so you can navigate through your whole session. Uh, it's got track select, uh, panning, solo mute, record. Uh, this is for the for Pro Tools, it's got for every track you can uh, set the automation mode. Uh, sorry my finger hit there. Uh, we got uh, sends editing so we can select a send and uh, let's find a send that's active here and we can edit the send level, switch between pre or post, and we got flip mode so we can use the uh, fader to set the send level. Uh, it's got dual surround pan controllers for 5.1 uh, surround panning. Quick access to functions like switching between the edit and mix window and Pro Tools, uh, record enable, input monitoring, group suspend, auto suspend. Uh, we've got this uh, Key, sorry, this uh, keypad editor so you can locate to a certain time in Pro Tools, recall markers. We can mark in, mark out uh, our selection that we're going to loop on, save, undo, escape, and then the transport. And with the transport, we've got a big counter. So if you've got this uh, set off to the side, you can see it from a distance what your uh, current time is. So, uh, like I said, it's a very full-featured control surface, and it works. Uh, we've got a different uh, look and feel for it for Logic and Cubase, so it matches the app that you're uh, using it with, and it sort of acts as like an extension of your app. And now we're also previewing a, a new feature today. It's a new technology we've developed. So uh, a problem with control surfaces is that you have a row of knobs controlling a plug-in, and you have to page through parameters, and you have to figure out which knob is controlling which uh, parameter on a plug-in. So uh, we've come up with a solution that we're just previewing, it's not part of the product yet, where uh, we can... Uh, okay, so we're mirroring the actual plug-in window on the iPad. So we can use our finger then to control the parameters. So, uh, so now we can actually directly control the plug-in interface on here. So now it's intuitive to go from band to band and adjust the different parameters for say an EQ, a compressor, or anything. This will work with any plug-in, any instrument, as long as Pro Tools or any other app draws the window, we'll be able to select it and control it. So it, it, this uh, really makes vControl uh, more, again, a, an extension of the, the uh, app that you're using.